Hello guys, welcome to Vince Black and have a good day to you. And for today's video, we are going to do a synchronizing. But the twist of this, uh, we are doing 220 uh, voltage, which is um, uh, this is three pieces, 150 kb, two speed, uh, 50 60, and. The difference of this one is uh, we having the different configurations for this uh, uh, three generator because in every edge of generator having the two uh, speed which is 50 60 and because this one is 150 kVA and we converted and what I mean is we already uh, retapping for this one I will show you that when I'm there it is uh, retapping for uh, double Y connections because this one is the voltage is um, to 20. Now <clears throat> the other side is uh, 50 and the other side is 60 Hz but at the same voltage. Now the twist is if you convert this 150 kVA or whatever kVA that one uh, three piece alternator and uh, if you convert it to 60 Hz into t to 20 volts now not it will uh, it will not become the same kva it will increase into if you encounter this one just comment down below how did you calculate that how, how did you how did you get that and uh, now also i will show you how we make the synchro with this uh, three generator and if we have encountered some trouble then i will show you also what is the reason and uh, what we can do for it how we can troubleshoot it how we can um, find a solution for that so for now I think uh, we need to go there and we have to start our job so we can uh, finish for this one so once again sorry for the uh, last uh, how many months that I don't have the video because uh, you know I went uh, for my vacations for my marriage Hello. but so uh, we are successful for that I'm so happy and but uh, I'm so sorry that I don't have the video for uh, the rest of the month because of the preparations of my marriage then that's why <laughs> so I hope that your stay in my vlogs and I hope that I can give you more ideas and more techniques on how to uh, troubleshoot any of the problem that we encountered today so let's go there stay with me and if you have some doubts and questions just comment down below so let's go okay so now guys I'm here this is our three generators I will show you this is one and here is in my back is number two and the other one is there over here that is so this is three pieces and I will show you here in the alternator uh, this is uh, the connections this is uh, the double Y connections and we are using the AVR also uh, this is 150 and we have the drop city and this is our line and this is our double Y connections so <coughs> So now we're going to do the preparations for it. We are going to prepare for the cabling for that. And so the rest is the configurations and uh, we're going to check an average of the biosing. So <clears throat> now we're going to start for everything, okay? Okay, so now guys, I'm done already do the program and the uh, configurations, I mean. And I'm also connected our uh, MSC connections. This is the communications between the three of your connections. I mean the three of your generator. So this is our generator number three. And this communication is connected. And look, we have the resistor here for our number three. And we look to the other uh, mid generator. This is our generator number two and we are also connected our MSC uh, connections see yeah, so as you observe uh, there is no resistor connected from it because this is in the middle now uh, 
Also here, uh, this is our generator number uh, one. So we are already also connected our MC cable. So as you can see, we have the resistor because end to end, we need to do that to connect our resistor 120 in order to identify that we are already we are having only the three generator uh, connected together for the synchronizing so okay so next over that we're going to do uh, we are going to start the generator and we're going to adjust the voltage so then after the adjustment we're going to uh, uh, adjust the biasing for that and then we're going to observe if there is some problem we're going to load test if there is some or wrong connections negative kilowatt negative amps we're going to observe that so in order to do uh, the perfect uh, synchronizing you have to check everything okay okay so now we're going to start the generator and start the adjustment for the voltage and the three attempts okay uh, by the way guys sorry because I forgot something I need to do first the configurations of the L series or the uh, linear actuator for this in order to start up this generator Okay guys, this is how the way we are going to connect our L-series connections in order to get uh, to make uh, the configurations. First, you have to remove this uh, uh, connections and then you have to replace for this one uh, in order to get uh, our connections to uh, PC. Now, this is our supply. We are going to go there and uh, we are going to connect this. at least our L series we need uh, positive and negative supply so since uh, this one is less voltage so we just only direct connect to our uh, positive and then uh, to our negative side just cover it for safety and uh, like that it's enough and then over here So this is our this is our cord and the, this is our converter so this is the USB so you can connect to your laptop So at this point uh, I think it will reach from this side so okay Just connect the USB and then that's it Okay so once again we're going to start this generator and adjust the voltage and check everything. Automatic one, right? Four voltage. Yeah, yeah. So now here we are going to adjust the voltage. So this is our AVR, and I'm going to adjust the voltage. Now also uh, we having a problem for this because it looks uh, the sound of our alternator is not good and it is look like uh, there is something wrong so now I bring this multimeter in order to check if our uh, generator in a good condition or if there is something wrong so now I put this one into the DC amp so in order to check if the excitation level is in the correct or not so once we try to start I will show you how much the excitation level of our uh, generator okay so for now I will uh, tell to the other guys to start this generator 
So we can see the level of like, excitation. If I say stop, stop it. Huh? Can you try to start? So now uh, we having a uh, five plus uh, excitation uh, level for our exciter. So now in order to avoid that uh, we're going to uh, uh, adjust the calibrations for our AVR because if you prolong run with this high excitations it might burn your uh, alternator so now you see the alternator is easily getting hot because of the over excitations now how you can do it to reduce the excitation level for that one if you have AVR the other AVR you can see in the parameters or in the set points you have the excitations adjustment you can adjust also that one but in this kind of AVR I just only to uh, uh, set to zero the voltage and let's see uh, what is the status of our excitation for now so we're going to start again and let's check if how much they can give the excitation level focus on that okay as you can see uh, the excitation level is only like 0 0.9 0 0.6 yeah 0, 0 0.6 amps uh, that is DC uh, arms now I'm going to calibrate the voltage in order to uh, make uh, in our set points as auto 20 so so now uh, I'm going to uh, little adjustment for that and then I will also check the voltage if it's incorrect or in, in the proper uh, set points uh, also so okay now I put two multimeter in order to check everything if it is uh, in the correct voltage and in the correct uh, excitation level so for now look at here now its set points is the voltage EC and the other one is a DC uh, amps now we're going to start and adjust the voltage So now, uh, as you say, our set points of the voltage is to 20 and our excitation level is only 1.1 something, 1.2, uh, 1.1 something, that is DC, um, so that is in the correct uh, calibration and correct uh, excitation level. So now, we are ready to do the load testing for this uh, generator and I will also adjust the other generator. Uh, in order to uh, the same voltage and the same amount of excitation so we don't have any problem for our uh, synchronizing so okay that is uh, already uh, done for our set points
Okay, uh, now we're done for our uh, 50 hertz load testing. So means that the capacity of full kilowatt for this one as a 150 kBA is only 120 kilowatt. So now we're going to 60 hertz. So it should be the 100 percent kilowatt of the 60 hertz for this uh, 150. It's about uh, 136 because it become uh, 170 kV in uh, this uh, 220 uh, set setup so I'm going to start and put it in 60 Hertz so I do this one. and now I'm going to start this one as a 60 Hertz done for our 60 Hertz and so as you can see the load is increased uh, the kilowatt before it's only 120 now it's already uh, 136 kilowatt because it's converted to uh, 60 Hertz and to 20 so the same as the uh, generator 1 and 2 the procedure is the same as we saw today for the generator number one okay Of the okay so now we're going to do the synchronizing for automation so uh, it's supposed to be these two will pull down and the other one is stay running
Now that we shut down already, so we are going to put 80% load so in order to run the rest of the generation. So guys, we're done to our uh, load testing and uh, synchronizing. You know, one time that we have problem about the uh, high um, excitations, be aware on that guys because if you cannot uh, fix that one or if you let this one happen or uh, just go for the synchronizing and uh, you did not notice that one that uh, you have the high uh, um, excitations you know uh, the the big issue with this one is uh, it can lead your uh, your alternate tool to be born you know it's because in every uh, minutes that you run the generator it will uh, easily getting hot it's if 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 you run it for more hours more uh, minutes maybe the rotor will born the exciter will born and the diode itself will be um, uh, uh, defective uh, be aware on that so <clears throat> in order to uh, fix this problem you just uh, check uh, like what I did it use a DC kilometer in order to check if how much the current is getting from the excitations and if it is normal or not okay because you can uh, observe also the stator uh, running conditions is not in the normal ways like there is something wrong about it there is like uh, sounds like um, like that I, you, I cannot explain how, how how the way I explain that but it is not normal you can observe that one so <coughs> follow what I did last uh, time uh, just uh, clamp uh, your uh, positive and excitation so you can see how much it's getting the excitations if it is normal or high then 
if you have the ABR for the excitation level you can adjust that one in order to uh, fix those problem for me in this side is R150 R is nothing the excitation adjustments so I just only put to zero so in order to make uh, the excitation level is uh, zero because it is zero voltage uh, you have to lower that so slowly increase the voltage so it will increase also the excitation level now <coughs> if it is uh, if you adjust slowly and if it is getting faster high excitations meaning there is some wrong there is some problem with that you have to replace the ABR for that okay now simply we just adjust slowly and we get and, and we get the correct value for that and the excitation level is in the correct excitation so nothing problem for that now we're done and we are perfectly uh, sync those three generators so as i told you this one is uh, 150 kb but we converted this one to 50 uh, i mean uh, 60 hertz and uh, this is connected as a double uh, y connection so the voltage is become uh, 220 or 240 so this one will increase your uh, kbe uh, ratings so once again i'm done so bins vlog is here thank you for watching and see you again in my next vlog bye bye